Big hello to everybody. Okay, Russ is on his way to getting one of these PAP Noble Gas Popper kits. Now the interesting thing with those is they've got a big coil wrapped around the cylinder that creates a magnetic field. So I just wanted to do a little bit of experimenting to see what a magnetic field actually does to a high voltage. Because I believe these motors work in the way that a high voltage is passed into the Noble Gas Mix and then a high current surge is passed through it as well. So I just wanted to have a little look as to what the high voltage does with inside a magnetic field. Um, what you're seeing there is a high voltage transformer from a neon sign. It's um, 15,000 volts and what I have down here is a little bit of copper pipe which I've just cut a tab out down the bottom to hook one lead onto. A little soldering jig is holding a tungsten rod. It's actually out of a uh, welding tip for a TIG welder. So it's good for high temperatures. So first we're just going to have a look without a magnetic field as to what happens. Um, and of course we're just going to get a high voltage arc like so I'm not sure how that's going to upset the camera, hopefully not but um, yes we've got a pretty high voltage arc there but really nothing too exciting so what I'm going to do now if I can find it we're going to get a plain Jane speaker magnet I'm going to sit on top of the copper and we're going to put the probe in the middle of the magnet. I might even in fact lift that up a little bit. So now we're going to turn it on and see what we get within a magnetic field. So that's a whole lot better. Now what I'm noticing here is that the arc around the magnet is exactly in the middle of it. It's not at the top and it's not at the bottom, it's right in the middle, which is where the two magnetic fields would be neutral. And um, it does tend to spin in an anti-clockwise direction most of the time, which is quite interesting. I think the magnet must be getting a bit warm now or probably losing its magnetic field. So we'll drop the probe down a little bit if it's not too hot. It is warm. And I'll try and get it in the middle the best I can. And give her another whirl. Oh, that's much better. It actually looks like a tornado going off in there at the moment. So that's pretty cool. So I'm starting to see what happens or is what is going to be happening within that cylinder. Now why it's at that state, the noble gases, of course it will be a little different than how you get ambient air that we breathe, but while it's in that state, um, it is then hit with a high current pulse. So um, I yet to find out what that does. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to set that up. But um, this is what we have so far and that's pretty interesting. Anyway, just thought I'd share that. Um, and now we'll await on Russ to get his kit and take it from there. Cheers from the tin man.